same with earplugs already ready for all this screaming. Um, <laughs> um, you said in the Entertainment Weekly uh, article that um, if you were Shailene, you would have kissed all your co-stars that were possibly going to be your co-stars. I mean, okay. I, I mean, saying, yeah, there, there, are some, there are some pretty boys now. <laughs> I think what well, you had like Brenton Thwaites and Nick Robinson. There were some, there were some yeah. pretty faces. So yeah, I got to say If I were out. her, I would have done it. <laughs> yeah. So if I, I were her, and if I were a girl, and if I were into guys. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's a lot of. It. I was just making a joke, really. I don't know why it's doing this. Thing. I'm doing an interview now. I love you, but I'm not going to sign it. <laughs> You're so sweet. Um, I mean, what was it like preparing this for this role? Because this is not just a normal teenage story. It's a teenage story with huge consequences at the end. Yeah. I mean... Um, I, I mean, it's, it was just a really real... Uh, it, it hope, I mean, it hopefully it's going to make the audience feel a lot of things and think a lot of things. And obviously, doing it and becoming that guy made me feel a lot of things and, and, and think a lot of things, so... What about your leg? How did you prepare to, to walk like that? Well, we had a brace, uh, so that helped, like, actually emulate, like, what it would be like to have a brace a little bit. It helped, but then also just learning how to walk as if I had a prosthetic. And did they do CGI with uh, the, where you actually see your leg? Or yes, was it? yes, CGI. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you, Ansel, Thanks so much. much. Can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. It's tight, don't even try to buy the size. Mr. Spock can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Borg can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.